All right, so the JP Twitter just posted this um, interesting picture here, uh, teasing that in three days, we're going to be getting a free banner. Now, this is interesting because last year, we did not get a free banner for anniversary. If you remember for Purgatory Bond, uh, the week before anniversary was actually Arthur, which was the, the unit that released like, specifically for Bond as a support character. Is it one or two weeks before that? I remember, uh, but in any case, there wasn't a free banner like before anniversary. There was Fever, which wasn't a typical free banner um, that you would see, but that was just how they handled for the second anniversary. I do hope they still bring back Fever though, uh, and drop it with the anniversary banner, that'd be great, because Fever was just fantastic. Um, getting those, the uh, the possibility of pulling like Green Gaffer, uh, and stuff like, especially, at that time, Green Gaffer. Green Gaffer was like what everyone was looking for, but also these like random characters that you might not have because they were exclusive. Like, you know, Green the Mali, Blue Derriere here in the picture as well. Might come as ca pe uh, characters that people might not have. In any case, uh, this picture is obviously teasing that in the free banner, which will be 14 multis, 154 pulls, that's uh, equivalent to 14 multis, there will be, at the very least, a Goddess Liz and a, a Upside Down The One. The, the one in the banner is actually Upside Down, uh, which is very interesting. I don't know if they specifically chose these because they're the only facetables in the banner, but even if they are the only facetables in the banner, there's a big... Uh, upgrade from past free banners if you recall free free banners um before festivals tend to be terrible uh with the selection of featured characters but you know i would also like if they like brought back this right here where you'd uh, get the the leveled up characters that'd be great for like new players but um and for if they even make it like level 90 but uh having Festivals in the banner is great. If it's even if it's only Goddess Liz and the One, if you pull a copy of the One, or if the One is guaranteed at the end, like you can pick between Goddess Liz and the One, that's great. If you didn't have them, or if you have them but you want dupes for him, that's just really good. <clears throat> or if for whatever reason you have both six six, it's a festival coin. Um, but I also wonder if they specifically chose the One and Goddess Liz because they were the first anniversary characters. Goddess Liz was the JP first anniversary, for global players that don't know that. And <laughs> the one was the global first anniversary. What a, what a, what a difference. <laughs> like, what an upgrade global had, right? Compared to JP, the one is as the first anniversary over shitty Goddess Liz. Goddess Liz was the best thing in the game when she came out, but still. Um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this banning. Three days. Uh, on Thursday should be, we're going to be getting the free banner. We also should be getting, I didn't bring this up, but we should be getting the voting for the anniversary banner as well. I don't remember from last year how um, how many days before the banner was. I, I assume it will be like uh, this patch that they're going to put it in. But in the patch notes for Mono, I think it's this, they showed, damn it. <laughs> There's this one, but they showed, yeah, it is that one, this right here, voting is going to come for the anniversary banner, you see the top left right here, uh, so I'm very excited for this, I, I, I want to see what options we're going to be getting for it, so if we could get a banner like this, right, where we get the guaranteed, like, characters, maybe a better selection, not Green King, <laughs> but we get the guaranteed characters all, like, max leveled, uh, like level 90 because well at the time level 80 was max right yeah level 80 was max at the time uh, of this banner's release um so if they could bump this to level 90 as well that'd be great make a different selection like honestly they just could they could bring back red gaffer again <laughs> like red gaffer it's so funny to me the red gaffer since day one has been like a top tier unit and he's still up there. He, do he doesn't want to leave. But yeah, Red Gaffer, if they could bring him back for the selection, would also be great. I, I think this format would be fantastic. I don't know if they're going to go for it because this was like a 10-step format. And they're clearly giving 14 free multis. We'll see. If this is like a 14-step banner, it would be awesome. But 
Uh, I saw some people saying that this this definitely means my L is coming because you see the one is there and the one I don't know if you guys know but he's asking her and and goddess Liz is there and I don't know if you guys know but she's a goddess and if you combine goddess plus Escanor it's my L but I don't think that that means anything <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I I wanted to mean that. The, the, believe me, I, I want my L to be the anniversary over what we got as the leak, which is Bloody Elizabeth. For sure, I want that, but I don't think this is what it means. I'm sorry if that's what you believed in. Uh, <laughs> it would be kind of funny if that's their way of teasing it. By the way, guys, <laughs> it, what, what happens if you combine Escanor? With goddess juice, my L. That's what happens, boys. That's first. That's that's the anniversary banner. That would be fantastic, but I don't think it will happen. In any case, if Bloody Elizabeth is an anniversary character, that'll be completely unhype. Uh, but we at least will have uh, likely a really good free banner before it, especially if you can pick the one at the end. Because for this banner right here, you could. Oh, that was so long ago. I don't remember if you could pick. The last character, I think you could pick the last character, right? And there was a, like a selection of a few of them. Uh, tell me I'm showing the video. Come on. Yeah, there was a selection of a few of them. It was like the uh, the featured characters. Um, you you could pick from the banner. So if you could pick the one at the end, that'd be fantastic. And uh, if you could also pull him from the banner as well, that'd be imagine. <laughs> You don't even have the one, and then you do the 14 free multis, and you end up with a 6 6 the one by the end. That'd be insane. That'd actually be kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> let me know if you think this means my L, by the way. If you're one of the people that saw this and was like, that's a mathematical equation. <laughs> if Again, if this is a tease, that'd be great. I wonder if they would put in the free banner the other festivals as well. Like, this could just mean, like, festivals from before the one are all gonna be in here. Which isn't many. It's only, like, the one king goddess Liz in Las Vegas. At that point, I'd prefer just goddess Liz and the one being there. But a lot of people could use dupes for Las Vegas, I suppose. I mean, Las Vegas might get a relic at some point. Uh, where is it? So, Las Vegas. Then Goddess Liz. See, Matrona was the free banner before Goddess Liz. That banner was horrible. Uh, so the, <laughs> there's a big step above first anniversary. First anniversary was a terrible celebration. Horrible celebration. Just awful, man. Matrona, the free banner of anniversary. Goddess Liz, the anniversary festival. And, I mean, Hawk was cool, actually. Hawk had that whole gimmick with him. That he was like stupid good for PvE during celebrations, but like, guess what? They don't bring his passive back anymore, so I guess he sucks now. Um, Zaldras was cool. I think Zaldras was cool, but we already had Zaldras. And then Droll for Part 2. The first anniversary was awful, man. First anniversary is still probably the worst anniversary celebration I've ever seen in a gacha game I've played. Um, okay, maybe not as bad as Blazing, but like, okay. The second worst. Um, and then, <laughs> sorry, after I got its Liz was king again Halburn was a free banner before king those free banners were such a hit or miss because before lost vein was where's lost vein was arthur arthur was pretty good at the time i think he was and then um he wasn't like broken but he was free and then uh you know matronin which now oh you know you use your for guild boss shut up Which, <laughs> uh, Matrona, then Helbrum, and then I, I think the one that, yeah, the one had the combat banner, which I think was, it didn't have any new characters, which I was kind of bummed about, but the one at least had Arthur in the banner. I, I hope for this banner they bring as well, like a featured um, character like Arthur, just so it has more value, because I feel like, uh, you know, I missed that. Arthur was such a good character. I, I still don't have him 6 6, by the way. On my main Royal JP account, I still don't have R for 6 6. Yep. It's. I don't know how. Anyways, 
I was uh, in the stage of three banners. But yeah, before the one is only King, Loss, Vein. Uh, you know, being that it's only shitty characters, <laughs> they might actually be in the banner. I wouldn't be surprised if Lost, Vein, and King are also in the banner, not just Goddess losing the one. But in any case, I wonder what the rates would be. Let me know what you think.